Master Ken here with the first episode of a new series we're calling Master Ken's Privates, where I'm inviting the best martial artists from around the world to give them a little private lesson in what they're doing wrong. Today, we have Mark Victor. That's Victor Marks. Yeah, whatever. Who's going to teach us supposedly the fastest gun disarm in the world. We'll see about that. Hey, my name is Victor March. I'd like to demonstrate for you the world's fastest gun disarm. There are a lot of different gun disarms for safety. I'll tell you, the one that works is the one that you should use. Uh, here's a few ways to do it. Uh, the guy puts a gun to your head. All right, now you just pull the trigger when you see me move. This is pretty close. So as soon as you see me move, all right, I'll try to do my little karate. Move. Here we go. Okay, okay that was pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> let me try a spinning kick. All right. Go ahead. And, all right, are, are you trained? Because this is not working out too well. All right, hammer's back. Uh, let me try one more. When he puts it to my head from right here. Mm, that one worked. All right, it's time to get real. Now, while I was impressed with the speed of Marcus Vicky's party trick, I think it's important to consider practicality when we're talking about gun disarms. First thing I didn't like is that when he took the gun away, okay, just look up. He took the clip out of the weapon and he uh, essentially splitting it into two, uh, there we go. <clears throat> he filled both of his hands, okay? Now, I can't use these. I can't do a tiger claw. I can't do a throat rip because my hands are full. Other thing he did was he unloaded the weapon. Now he disarmed himself. He can't turn the weapon on the attacker. So let me show you a proper way to do a gun disarm. First of all, what most people don't know is that guns function on oxygen, just like human beings. If I take my finger and I place it very tightly on the barrel of the gun, the bullet cannot travel through it. If he were to pull that trigger right now, nothing would happen. You got a malfunctioning weapon. Once you've uh, prevented the weapon from firing, you don't want to push it away. I see him pushing it offline, okay? Something about keeping the bullet offline of him. That's a bad idea because I don't have as much control of the weapon out here. So I'm going to keep it dead center, okay? And since I'm right-handed, actually probably slightly to the left, all right? Now, once I've got pretty good control of the weapon, now I need to free up my hands so that I can do some damage. What I'm going to do is take the gun, trap it here. My legs are much more powerful than my arms. Now I'm free to do neck breaks, remove the eyes, attack the back of the neck, reach up under, see if I can get in the mouth, grab the heart. At that point, once I've taken the heart out, I just take the weapon away. I'm Master Ken. Tune in next week for more of Master Ken's Privates.